What up YouTube and welcome back to another installment of Asshole by Brittany D And of course I am Brittany D and today I am back with another short lock tutorial for you guys And in today's tutorial we're doing space buns and curly bangs Yes, this is the style that won the poll on my Instagram story And I'm gonna be honest about it, I wasn't happy I wasn't happy at all because this was a hard style to recreate Mainly because of the buns You guys are aware that my locks are cut into a bob And so some of my locks are shorter than the others So it's hard for me to get that neat bun look Like seriously, I really do struggle with lock buns I don't know what it is about the bun that I just don't get but I don't get it but because I'm a woman of my word I'm going to attempt to do this bun for you guys and so I am just adding this rubber band midway just trying to collect some of those shorter locks and I'm just going to fold my locks over like that and that's how I did my bun now that's not how I originally did it but I don't remember how I originally did it and so this is the closest I could get to recreating those buns. And so we're just going to take that rubber band and we're going to secure the locks. But I would highly recommend you do your buns however you need to do them because lock buns are hard. I don't care what no one say, they are hard. But I'm going to continue to play around with this rubber band because I really want a nice neat look. And so I'm using smaller rubber bands to help tuck the shorter locks into this bunish situation which i really don't know isn't it, this is not a bun okay i understand that but um this is the closest thing i could get to what i did before okay so like tiana teller said you gotta bear with me you gotta bear <laughs> we ain't looking for straight a's you just need to pass okay so we're going to continue to play around with these rubber bands and tuck away those shorter locks you know do the best that you can but once you're finished you should be left with something like this you can see that some locks are still too short and so i will pin those up towards the end of the video but now we're going to focus on the dazzle the razzle dazzle so i found this string at my local beauty supply store you can find it anywhere i'm pretty sure but you want to begin wrapping the string around your bun starting at the base and then just working your way up towards the top and back down and so it's just pretty simple of course i'm going to show you guys just in case you guys need an idea but there is no right or wrong way to do this you know do what is appealing to you so you could do like a spiral you could do some crossover you could do both you know do what you think is nice but you want to continue to wrap this string around your bun and try to conceal some of those rubber bands with that string as well just by simply overlapping the rubber band with the gold string. But once you get your desired wrap, you want to meet those two strings at the base in the back and just tie it into a knot. Then you'll be done with the space buns or whatever those things are. Now that I'm done messing around with those buns, I'm going to start on my bang. But right before that, I'm going to take my soft bristle brush and I'm just going to begin brushing my new growth and locks upwards towards my buns. And I'm doing this before I apply my edge control. It's kind of like I'm prepping my hair, you know, just kind of make it a little bit more easier when it's time to add my edge control. But before I jump into that, we're going to start with the curls. And you guys should know how to do curls by now because my last three tutorials, I included a curly bang. So you guys should know how to do one by now, but just in case you're a little slow at learning, I got you. So you want to start off by applying mousse to your locks. Now, one of my frequently asked questions is what brand of mousse am i using i'm using tresemme but i'm telling you you could use any brand of mousse it doesn't matter they all do the same thing okay but you want to start off by applying that mousse to your locks and then you want to grab your yellow perm rods and begin rolling that lock so we're going to continue rolling that lock and i'm actually going to roll the rest of my locks off camera to save some time but of course if you guys want a more in-depth video you know i have one available on my youtube channel so you can watch it right after this one but this is pretty much it for this look now what i plan to do now is just allow the curls to sit overnight if you're in a rush i will recommend 15 to 30 minutes under a dryer because you want to make sure that the curls are completely dry before you remove your perm rods. I cannot stress enough how 
important it is to make sure that your curls are completely dry because if they aren't, they will flop. So here I am the next day and I am removing my perm rods. So of course, you guys remember the technique to removing the perm rods. You wanna start from the bottom and just kind of wiggle the perm rod from underneath. That way you can keep that nice bouncy curl that you see right here. Look how that curl came out, perfect. So again, you just want to repeat that technique. That way you can have a nice, beautiful, curly bang. And of course, if you guys want a more in-depth video, I will have my curly bang tutorial listed below for anyone who may be interested. But again, I am going to continue removing all these perm rods and I'm going to do most of that off camera because you guys know I am a big stickler for saving some time. So this is what it should look like once all the perm rods are removed. Now you may have to rearrange some of the curls so it could look how you want it to look, but this is the finished look. But really quickly, I just wanted to share my Minding My Locks and my business shirt with you all. I got it from Locks and Business. Of course, I have all their information listed below if anyone is interested in this tea. But again, I hope you guys did enjoy this lock tutorial because I had so much fun creating it for you. Even though the buns ain't the same, even though it took me two whole days to get it right I still had a great time creating this look for you now if you guys are interested in any other look just let me know in the comments and I'll have a tutorial available for you guys but um this is pretty much it for me until next time until we meet again until we're back on YouTube watch another crazy video of mine <laughs> bye bye